Now here's a chemical reaction that you need to balance as a redox reaction, give a net reaction to, and then want to balance it in a base instead of having it swimming around in what we call acidic medium. How does this reaction occur in a base? Okay, now, this reaction is quite incomplete. You can see, like if I say, uh, oxygen and iodide ion react to form water and iodine. Okay, that's fine, but there's no hydrogens on this side here. We're missing elements. It's a beautiful key to be able to say, you know what, I need a half reaction method. I need to build my own half reactions. So quite simply, we start with, okay, we've got O2 and H2O, I negative and I2. So let's make the I negative turn into I2. This turns into this. And then the O2, well, that's going to turn into the water, obviously. And even if you didn't even put water here, oxygen, we've got it on this side. What do, you do, what do you do when you need to add oxygen? You add water. So we're going to add water to that side. Now, let's finish this reaction. Two I's here, two here. And so if we've got two negatives on this side and zero here, we know we need to add two electrons here. So what we've got is we've got oxidation occurring here, and that means that the I negative on this side is a reducing agent. Okay, now, let's finish off this half reaction here. Two O's here, so we've got to put a two there. Oh, that means we need four H positives on this side. Do you make sense? Now, we better need electrons on this side, because otherwise, it won't work. Oh, yeah, but look, four positives here, zero charge here, so we need four electrons. So, when we add these two reactions together, we've got to make sure that we double up on this one because, remember, two times two, four electrons lost must equal four electrons gained. Okay, and so the net reaction is going to be, when we do that, it's four I negatives plus four H positives plus O2 makes two H2Os plus I2. But how many I2s? Two of them. And that's the reaction now balanced in acidic media. But we want to actually put it in a base. We want to balance it in a base. So here's the rules for balancing in a base. When you finish that reaction, just doing it the normal way that we did, add enough hydroxide to cancel out the H positive and turn it into water. Because you know H positive and OH negative make H2O. So here's what you do. You say, oh, okay, well, I've got four H positives here, so let me add, I just like, I just like to do it this way, add four OH negatives here to this. So I can get four HOH, see, HOH, four of them. Oh, HOH is water, right? So now we've got four waters on this side, but whatever you do to this side, adding four hydroxides, you add four hydroxides to this side. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other side. Now listen. You may have to cancel down the waters. Watch. Because now we've got four waters here and two waters here. Remember, light turned on each side. Got to get rid of them. So that eliminates the two waters here and eliminates four here and leaves us with two. So now you can see that we've got two H2Os left here. And so we write down plus two H2Os plus O2. And then we get rid of that water there entirely because it canceled out. And so... When we do that, there we go, we get that reaction as our net ionic equation when this reaction here is balanced in a base.